So I think this is recording. This is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring in Seattle. It is January 22nd, 2021. I just wanted to document how I'm feeling because I'm one of those introvert loner people who likes to share. Maybe I don't need to label myself. I just did a three hour figure modeling session from here, from home. And I'm grateful for that that I can work from home. Earlier today, I was in a, a group for adults who are on the spectrum of autism. And I'm not even really sure if I'm on the spectrum of autism. Um, I feel very misunderstood a lot of the time. And I feel very angry and defensive. I'm working on loving and accepting myself. And what I notice about me in groups is that when I model for art modeling groups, I'm comfortable in that group because I'm the model and I know what my role is and I feel confident and comfortable being the model. And so I feel like I'm appreciated and accepted as part of the group. And I like being the only one in the group that's a model. So I feel kind of special and unique in the group. And yet I'm serving the group. Um, but when I'm in a therapy group or a creative writing group, I feel more self-conscious and shy and stressed out. And on a, honestly, I feel competitive with other people and like I'm afraid that people are going to laugh at me or make fun of me or pick on me or think that I'm a narcissist if I'm too into myself and it's funny because I did a tv show called goddess krang where I did monologues and I danced around not wearing anything except body paint and I was very brave and said a lot of brave daring things and controversial things sometimes got myself into trouble with that um, and now I do a radio show where I'm pretty brave when I do monologues, but when I'm in my creative writing group and I do performance art and poetry, and when I'm in my creative writing group, I don't seem to be able to ham it up. So I read my poetry in a very hesitant, insecure, not confident way. And I don't think it's even interesting to the people in my group. And honestly, I have a hard time listening to them also. Like they're all creative, intelligent, talented people that I write with and I appreciate them very much. But I admit that I'm not good at really listening to other people. I'm so preoccupied with myself. Maybe that means I am a narcissist. I don't wanna beat myself up, but I'm just acknowledging or maybe I am just autistic. I'm just noticing how uncomfortable I am most of the time, like in groups and I have, I enjoy myself more when I'm by myself. Like right now I'm recording myself alone in my apartment. And I hope it's recording me because my, my recording, it's blinking at me in a certain way. I hope it's recording. So I'm just gonna upload this to the internet now. I guess I'm gonna put this on uh, Rumble, BitChute, YouTube, and Facebook probably. Cause I didn't, I don't think I said anything that would get me in trouble, right? Because um, we all know that we have to be protected from certain thoughts and certain ideas that question the status quo. Don't let the catch-22 get you blue. Status quo takes its toll. There's a line in a Tom Petty song I like that goes, as we celebrate mediocrity, the boys upstairs want to see how much you'll pay for what you used to get for free. There goes the last DJ who says what he wants to say and plays what he wants to play. Hey, hey, hey. There goes your, let's see, there goes your freedom of choice. There goes the last human voice. There goes the last DJ. And Tom Petty wrote that like in 2002 way ahead of its time. He ain't seen nothing yet with what we have going on right now. 
with uh, people being <laughs> gagged from expressing certain ideas. Uh, yeah. So have fun with that. Um, I'm a little angry, as you might tell, but I am grateful that I can breathe oxygen and walk in the forest and breathe oxygen like a human being. And I can walk barefoot in the mud and do some forest bathing. Uh, and I could be an art model. Have a good night, everyone. I'm a little angry, just expressing how I feel. January 22nd, 2021. This is Shannon Kringen in Seattle. I'm 52 years old and trying to figure out how to be honest and authentic and not get myself in trouble for being too honest. So actually that is an autistic trait. Autistic people are known for saying what they really think and people generally don't want to hear what you really think in a really honest way because it's considered rude, especially if you have an opinion that is not your standard run of the mill, safe, um, conformed to the group think opinion. So yeah, there it is. Yeah, I want to be my authentic self. I don't want to offend other people but I also don't want to be fake. So there. Okay, good luck everyone. My website, shannonkringen.com, bunch of different artwork. I'm a free range human, good night. Take it or leave it, babe.